has it been? Feels like forever, noticing everything. Like the hair on the wall, food on the office table from last week. Parties are gone, weekends are open, can't even handle myself. It's been going too long. Good morning, everybody. From me and Layla, we're on our walk today. She started doing walks again yesterday and she's feeling so much better and I'm feeling so much better as a result. It's getting a little toasty. I was considering going on a walk myself after this, but I don't really know because it's kind of warm. The sun is blaring right now, as you can tell, but today I have a busy day. I think I'm gonna try to film, but I haven't even like said something yet, but my face is still swollen. So I don't know, I might put that off, but I'm really, I don't want to get behind schedule, so we'll see. But good morning. Is everything a dream? I don't know what this means. Time has been slow, it seems. Carve your face while we blame the 19. It is much later now. It is currently 1026. I just spent the last hour and a half on FaceTime with Alexa because we are planning out a really fun trip together for a really fun video with a really awesome brand. You'll know more about it in like a month, but we are so, so excited. So we've been planning that. I am, I've been sitting here literally for the last hour, for the last like hour ice rolling my face. And I, to most people, it probably doesn't look that bad, but to me, I don't know if I can film today. I had my smoothie, my typical smoothie for breakfast, which was delicious. I think I'm gonna go take like a nice spa shower, maybe put on some fake tan. Probably not, I'll probably do that tomorrow. I could honestly, oof, I could take today and do some more Poshmark stuff, but that sounds daunting. I also have a bunch of stuff that I need to take to various places. Like I have clothes that I wanna donate to women's shelters. I have household items and things that I wanna you know, take to the thrift store to donate. So like I could do some of that today. Honestly, that might be the move like to get ahead. Cause one thing I've noticed that I don't, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to is like the, the older you get, right? If when you get older or just when you move through life, you move into like bigger spaces. You know, when we first moved into this house, I was like, how in the hell are we gonna fill up this house? And now I have so much stuff because I filled in like every little corner of this house, but I've ended up with like way more stuff than I need. So it may be just time to do a little bit of spring cleaning. I mean, I'm not, that doesn't sound fun, but like, I'll do it. I started a little bit yesterday um, and I cleaned out like our little Harry Potter closet under the stairs and that felt really good. So now I feel like I'm sort of on a roll and I wanna keep going, so I don't know. Before I leave the backyard though, I will show you an alien cactus update. And I just thought about this in all the times that I've shown it before, I've never thought to like go behind it and show, which like, duh, makes so much more sense. Because wow, you can see it so much better from right here. The lighting's not ideal, but a lot of these flowers are blooming and it's looking crazy. So it's like, I guess gonna go all the way down. This is called a century plant. Every time I call it an alien cactus, I get someone that's like, hey, that's actually called a century plant. I'm like, oh, I know. I just, I just call it an alien cactus because that thing is a freak. All right, let's continue on with our day. But I feel great. I'm so happy. I walked like four miles. Hot girl walks, man, are the move and I'm gonna do them as long as I can because it's getting hot. I'm gonna say that in every vlog. I might even like create a playlist on Spotify if I'm feeling spicy and link it down below for you to also listen to on your hot girl walks. Cause it really is like a mental health boost, man. I tell you, it's good. Whoa, it is actually like two days later. Um, I just got out of the shower, forgive. 
the state of me. But here's the progress, so less swelling for sure. Um, but I ended up like getting caught up with work the last couple days and we've been out all day with Drew's mom and niece. And now I just took a shower because it's day two of my period. And if you know, you know, it's just the day from hell. But anyways, I got out of the shower and I immediately started laying in bed. But then my sweet friend Noelle texts me and she just posted or is about to post her very first vlog. So if you watched our LA vlog or if you've seen our LA vlogs like over the years, um, one of my good friends from high school in Nashville, in case I haven't mentioned this in a while for people who watch, basically four yeah, four of my close friends from growing up live in LA and have for like a really long time. So Noelle and I were on the cheerleading squad together in high school and we've known each other. Yeah, we were on like the low key, like the cheerleaders that weren't that good. But um, we have known each other since we were like 15 and she's just such a sweet, awesome friend and her husband Josh is amazing. We're obsessed with them. Um, like not to be biased, but they're like our favorite people, right? Oh, oh, Moo agrees. Drew doesn't things. like many people. No, but, I don't. <laughs> but he loves them. Yes, I do love them. Yeah, they're the best. So we're going to watch their very first vlog. And that's what I wanted to say. So they've started creating a vlog channel and they're going to be taking a trip to Paris here in like the next few days. So they're going to be vlogging their trip to Paris, I would also assume. So we're going to watch their first vlog. And if you are interested in following a couple and their explorations they go all over la they're both bartenders in la noelle is also a real estate agent in la josh also does some acting in la um and then they also love to travel that's like they're like probably the most well traveled friends of ours so if you want to follow along on their adventures i would highly recommend it i'll link their channel down below i just realized that our fan is going so you probably heard it throughout this entire clip my apologies and you had to stare at me like professionals this professionals that work here we're really just pros <laughs> but yeah we're gonna watch our friends i'm so excited Aww. their videos are already better than mine <laughs> uh, we just got this camera okay um this lighting in this bathroom i swear to god what do i do hold on <laughs> sometimes i absolutely love this bathroom and sometimes i hate it but hi good morning it's actually a few more days later it's just kind of how things are going these days i took the weekend off from vlogging it was lovely and now we're back so getting ready for a full day of filming you know the drill it's monday a.m i just got a phone with my dad i don't know like something i've been really thinking about and actually talking about in therapy and stuff recently is trying to think of like how to best word this like because it makes sense in my head but basically like to give a little bit of backstory i've moved a lot in my life um in my adult life and also just growing up and i come by it honestly because my mom moved around a ton growing up and so did my dad so it's just kind of like a normal thing for me but for someone like drew who has lived in two houses you know before adulthood like growing up he lived in two houses his entire life i seriously can't really to that like i don't know what that's like i've i've moved so many times i mean i think I've, i counted it one time and i think i went to like eight or nine different schools from kindergarten to my senior year of high school so like i've i've just always moved i've always been used to being the new kid i've talked about it in main channel videos before too where it's just sort of like a, a thing i've always i've always moved around and i don't know it wasn't for any reason like my parents would relocate or like my parents got divorced or my mom would find a new place or whatever and i would just kind of like move around or we would move states or then i would move back lately i've been kind of thinking about how that's affected me as an adult and like how i as a result like ended up moving a lot in my adult life and i don't know if what i'm saying is going to make any sense but like i sometimes i envy people who are like born in the same hometown, live in the same hometown, and like live there for the rest of their lives and like they're perfectly content with that. Cause sometimes I do feel like I don't have roots places even though when I go back home to Tennessee, like I definitely feel like a tie to that place and I feel like a lot of deep appreciation and like gr gratitude, I guess you could say. And like same with here, like going places where I grew up. But I don't know how to explain it other than like, I just have this never ending restless feeling of like, I gotta keep going somewhere else. Like I need to like have a change of scenery. I need to move out of the house that I'm in and move into a different space because I'm just craving something new. And like, I've sort of talked about this before, but <laughs> I will literally, and I mean literally, be on like a walk with Drew in the morning. I need to keep 
getting ready as I'm talking about this, but I'll be on a walk with Drew in the morning and we will be talking about moving back to California, right? By the way, Drew is equally as guilty. Um, so this is like, this is me speaking for both of us, but I will be like, let's move back to LA. Drew's like, let's do it. It's so exciting. Like we got to get there now. Like, can we get there in the next couple of months? And then literally that evening, we are fully talking about buying a house here in Arizona with like, without missing a beat. It literally changes by the day. And sometimes it changes within the day. And it's just, it's been this way, like probably since we moved to LA. We moved to LA in late 2019, like August of 2019. And then by, I guess what, July of 2020, 11 months later, almost a, almost a year later, we were gone. <laughs> and like, that was for a lot of different reasons, the pandemic, our neighbors, etc. But now that we've been back in Arizona for the last almost two years, we have just been, again, going back and forth about it. Just like, what the hell do we do? Like, where do we go? And there are some days where truly, I will wake up in the morning and say, we're going to move to the UK like someday and we'll fully plan on it. And then, a week later it's like or we could try living in japan for a year <laughs> and then there will be times where we're like let's pack up everything and move back to la actually let's move to orange county because that'd be really cool san diego would be really nice like and we quite literally change the plan so often and then of course it always comes back to eventually like in the rotation it's always like or we could buy a house here you know it's a good time because gotta get in on this market blah 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 yeah i don't know i just i guess i kind of wanted to hopefully speak to other people who are feeling this same way because I if there's one thing I will never be it is settled ever I know a lot of this has to do with like the impulsivity part of my ADHD um my parents both deal with that both my parents have ADHD go figure so I think a lot of that like comes from just feeling impulsive and then like if I just chill for a couple days like the desire will usually go away but yeah if there's anyone out there who is going through the same thing who is walking through life like damn I have no idea what I want to do because one day it's one thing the next day it's another I don't know where I want to live I don't know what I want to do with my life and Drew is the same way like he's the exact same way and I don't know if it's because he stayed put his whole life and now he wants to like go out and explore and do different things but it's just funny like we're a hot mess so one of the most kind of asked questions I get is like where are you guys going next what's your next plan when are you moving what are you doing and uh no idea no idea and we say that every time because it changes all the time and we're just gonna eventually have to get to a place where we just like make a decision and fucking stick with it but it just changes all the time so i just thought i would you know hopefully give a shout out to those of you who are also going through the same thing and who are like what am i actually doing like what am i doing like i just there's so much life out there like there's just so much to experience and see and so many people to connect with and i know drew feels the same way so like i don't know it's just um it's fascinating being in my my scary brain and i saw something on twitter recently where i'll like put it on the screen here but somebody was talking about how like in your 20s and 30s if you're ever feeling like you need to work harder to catch up to your peers or you're not on the right path or that you're behind or whatever um you're absolutely not you're absolutely not you are right on track with where you are supposed to be quickly i also forgot to add the part where like when she talked about how she feels like she's 35 and her life is just beginning, I 100% feel that way. Like I've never related to something more. Like I truly feel like my life is just now getting good and like going in the way that I want it to. And like this whole new chapter of my life is the best one yet. I'll talk more about it in a second, but yeah. And that resonated with me so much. And it, for the first time I actually read that, I really felt that, like I really felt that I am on such an awesome path right now. And I just know it like deep down in my soul. And I've said this to like a few friends and family over the last few months, but this year in particular just feels like a whole new chapter. Like it feels like a fresh page and it's like a really exciting new chapter in life where I feel so many other people in my life are healing and experiencing so much love and friendship and abundance and like awesome job opportunities and I believe that all that is coming for like every single one of you that are watching this as well like I just think that um, this year is just gonna hold a lot of really amazing things so even though I just you know said all of those things about how my brain's kind of scattered and I don't really know what I want to do with my life like I read things like that and I'm like okay 
you're right on track. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Just enjoy this period of life. That's something I really struggle with is kind of just enjoying the chapter that I'm currently in instead of like looking forward to the next one. This is so hard to do while talking. Anyway, if you let me, I will keep blabbing and just talking in circles about the same thing over and over again for no reason. So I'll cut it here. I'm going to finish getting ready and start a new vlog. Excuse me. But I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.